welcome to my youtube channel kush tracy official and this is kt cooks And yes, on today's episode, we are going to be making chicken liver and some plantain. If you're new here, Karibu Sana, to all our new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. You know, remember to um, leave a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you'd like to see me cook or try to cook. And of course, you know, feel free and, you know, try out these recipes and tell me whether they work for you and how you found them. Just let a girl know. This is Kush Tracy Official, and welcome to my channel. So I've been boiling the liver. Of course, I always have to boil my meat before I cook it. And I don't know how you guys prefer it, but you can let me know down below in the comment section. But now, today I'm going to start the other way around. So the plantain is ready. Um, of course, we're using olive oil. I always use the same oil when it comes to frying but i use it within a span of one and a, one week to one and a half weeks then i change the oil because you know oil is expensive eh? we're trying to live within our means and economy but yeah definitely y'all know i do like flavoring my um whether it's bananas whether it's potatoes and i like using black pepper i like using mixed herbs and some paprika because you know the color and the taste i just love the taste and the spice and it just mix um Everything just tastes differently and nicely. And of course, uneka kachumbi apakule. So, once everything you've prepared, you mix it up in a bowl. And, you know, you just make sure the spices go everywhere. So, I'm going to be making crunchy plantain. And we ready put everything um, in the pan. So, whatever residue you're seeing in the oil, that's the black pepper from the previous, um, I think, video I did. I was making some potatoes. And I do love me some black pepper and spices. So, hence... So the oil is okay it is not bad okay so next we slice the onions and uh, we're just preparing this so that we start cooking the liver it's gonna be a wet fry um kind of chicken liver and uh, i'm gonna use a couple of peppers because i do love peppers i love this um the taste they just have a distinct taste they give to food so i'm gonna use green peppers i'm gonna use red pepper and uh, onions a few spices and uh, yeah that's all that is gonna be inside um my chicken liver so i hope you like it So once you've preheated the pan, you know, you put in the oil. I always use olive oil. And since my onions were already prepared, so you just put them inside and work around them so that they get ready. Once they cook, that's when you're going to put in the other ingredients. But over here, I'm too uko too macho. So you're making sure your plantain doesn't get burnt. And you're also cooking on the other side, so it's double for the trouble. But hey, it makes work easier because the food gets ready at the same time. So we're chopping everything and we're going to be chopping them in small pieces as you've seen. And that's how we're going to cook them. Yes. But I don't know what sort of um, spices do you guys like? Or what sort of um, veggies do you like, like to include in your livers and your food? And this is chicken liver. So the next time I'm going to be doing liver, I think I'm going to do um, just kawaida liver. And I'll make it with something else. I do not know. I'm very random by the way. Like I say, I make these videos when I'm hungry and I want to eat. So that determines what I'm going to cook. So it's always very random and it's the K-Tish way. Yes, just how I like my food. <laughs> and of course, if it's my food, it's normally more spicier than the food I'd make for other people. Depending on, you know, different people like spices at different levels. So it all, all depends. Yes. So 
so everything is in you know you just wait for the onions to cook you put in your peppers i like garlic and ginger so that's what i put in i keep on stirring let it cook for a while before i put in um the tomato paste that i'm going to use today i'm not using normal tomatoes but of course i'm using the tomato paste well to me it's one and the same so honestly nya 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 when you may come nya nya but you know it always depends with what you want so yeah keep on stirring stirring add some water so that the paste is very consistent and you just keep on stirring keep on stirring like koroga too koroga baby koroga eka kamaji koroga koroga too Yes, so um, for the chicken liver, I prefer cutting mine into smaller pieces because unajua kawaida zina kuanga kubwa kubwa. And once you're done with that, okay, I was using chili, green chilies, but of course I also added some chili flakes because I love my food spicy, like I said. I love pili pele. Mimi na kafirifiri, tunakuanga same WhatsApp group. So, kafirifiri kakisonga. You put it in and you just let it keep on... Um, boiling and simmering until it gets ready then after i put in the spices i let it um boil and cook for a while and then after that that's when i put in the liver so sahi sahi nayo nayo inakuja ndo ibe ishike your spice ishike your flavor ikwetu yani ushisikie unakula food unaskina weather so that is what i'm about i like tasty beautiful delicious food So make sure you mix up your liver so that it's completely um, mixed up with the stew. Is it the stew or the sauce? Either way, but now you're buffing, you'll come and then you let it cook for a few minutes, let's say um, under low heat at um, like around five minutes. Let it cook five, okay, three to five minutes. That's okay, depending with how fast the miyako it takes. kadogo, ina take more time. But yes, my plantain is actually ready, so we put it the, um, on the side and we are done with that. So the only thing I'm waiting for right now is the liver. Yes, that looks good and it was delish. Oh lord. And of course, now after a few minutes, my chicken liver is ready. I open it up and I keep on stirring and mixing it up, but it's literally ready. Look at that. Look at that. Ia to pate na sembe mtongu na kula kukula. Una bomoa. So that's almost ready. And it's about to eat. Yay! The food is ready we serve and that looks delish and it was delicious i don't know how you call it in your mother term you can drop it down in the comment section below oh let me know but yes my liver is ready and that's the final you need to add any product but when i'll be cooking for people you can see the magic so you better keep it here thank you for watching i'm gonna see you in the next video be sure to subscribe subscribe turn on notifications so that you get to know once i upload a video Bye bye